In the past, child actors have had difficulty moving into adult roles. This is probably particularly true for Disney stars who have spent years starring in the studio's TV shows and or films. However, due to her major role in HBO's Euphoria, Zendaya has been able to make that transition successfully. Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will look at why Zendaya thinks Disney destroyed her youth. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Zendaya, a promising actress and singer, rose to prominence as a youngster thanks to her performance on Shake It Up. She portrayed Rocky Blue in the Disney Channel's original series from 2010 to 2013. Zendaya was a breakthrough star alongside Bella Thorne. During that time, her connection with Disney included TV movies like Zapped and Frenemies. Zendaya, on the other hand, started to attempt to distance herself from her Disney image in the mid-2010s. In the latest Spider-Man films, she was introduced to the Marvel Cinematic Universe as the MJ to Tom Holland's Peter Parker. The actor also did voice work and was featured in The Greatest Showman. Zendaya has broken away from the Disney typecast. When asked whether she still considers herself a Disney child, the legendary Emmy winner summed up what that part of her heritage meant to her now. The thing is, I am a Disney kid, and to agree, I am grateful for that, she told Mulligan. That's where I started, and I learned so much from that experience. It's just kind of been this slow progression, and I am happy that it's all been to prove to myself and not to anybody else, you know? I embrace it. A little bit, to some extent. It's a part of my heritage. Zendaya worked as a fashion model for Macy's, Mercy's, and Old Navy before becoming a lead lady in Hollywood. She also appeared as a backup dancer in a Sears commercial alongside another Disney star, Selena Gomez, in 2009. Zendaya auditioned for the role of Cece Jones in Shake It Up, but Disney decided to cast her as Rocky Blue instead. The first episode of Shake It Up was a huge success. Michael Porius, a co-creator of the Disney series Hannah Montana, said, If I do my job right, you won't know where the character I created ends and the real person who's playing it begins. He also admitted that when Disney finds their next child star, they write that part around the actress. Disney made the same demands of Zendaya, but the young actress decided to break the rules and do her own thing. Zendaya eventually gained confidence and learned how to say no to the world's most powerful entertainment company, according to Vogue. As the daughter of two teachers, Zendaya has always valued her education, and with the help of her mother, she convinced Disney's lawyers to let her have a teacher on set so she wouldn't miss any schoolwork. In a 2019 interview, Zendaya revealed that she put her music career on hold because she believes the industry sucks you dry a little bit and takes a little bit of passion away from you. Let's just say Disney has a tight grip on their child stars, which means there are a long list of rules you must follow if you want to be Disney's next big thing. From the clothes you wear to the photos you share on social media, everything must adhere to Disney's strict rulebook, which was brought to public in 2009. Just two years after Britney Spears' public meltdown and Vanessa Hudson's leaked photo scandal. But when Disney wanted Zendaya back, they offered her another series which she refused, saying she would only do it if she had some creative control over it. Zendaya also wanted to utilize her position to advocate for young people and move Disney's antiquated ideas about puberty into the contemporary age. The actress didn't want her character, Casey, to be like other Disney female protagonists who simply sing and dance. The actress told Vogue that there are other things a girl may need and I want her to be normal with an amazing life, but Zendaya went even further, insisting on the program to focus on a black family. One thing that is very important to me is diversity on the channel, Zendaya told Cosmopolitan. It's difficult as a young person of a different ethnicity or background to look at the television and not see anyone who looks like you. Not only did Zendaya feel like people of color weren't being properly represented on the Disney Channel, but she's also had to deal with racial insensitivity. 
One Twitter user claimed that every Disney star had been traumatized in some way, shape, or form, and that Zendaya was the only one who had escaped unscathed. After Zendaya left Disney, many of her fans were relieved, claiming that she had avoided the Disney curse. Well, that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked the video, kindly like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. So stay tuned. Peace!